today is the day that I have been waiting for forever. We are moving. Peace out, Philly. Don't you worry. Don't you cry. I can promise it gets better in time. Keep your head up. Keep your shine. Hold my hand. I'm Re, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, babe, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stay. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to see you guys again. We're about to hit this road. I'm in this big truck. I don't know why they ever trusted me to drive this truck, but we are packed and loaded. I'm about to go pick up my bestie, Bree Bree, so that we can unload the truck. That should be interesting. Pray for us. But today's the day, y'all. Philly has been so real. Like, it's been so real, but it's my time. Check out. So I'm actually gonna go get gas and then I'm gonna head over to Brianna's house and then it's gonna take us about an hour and 15 minutes to get to Maryland. I'm not that that far from where I currently live, which is good, which is exactly why I can still stick with my girl Mariah because I can't let the nail tech go. It took me too long to find her. But anyway, I just wanted to kick off this vlog. We are moving. Here, I have to work. I take it. Okay, y'all. Oh, I, <laughs> you wasn't. <a> <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. She's about to say something. Anyway, she's here. Do you need a coffee or something? That was two. I was gonna, I need to get gas. What's the closest coffee place? Duncan's that way. I hate Duncan, but I guess, we, I guess I can do Duncan today. All right, so let's get gas first. We made it. I'm. Um, it is, it's like you muggy, like, it's like yeah. muggy, like sticky oh, yeah, and hot. Just... We made it and I'm about to go in right now. Hopefully they're there because I'm a little bit later than what I was supposed to be here. There was just like a lot of traffic. <sighs> here goes nothing, y'all. Hey girl. <laughs> so we're waiting out in the common area right now. I'm just waiting to be seen by the leasing office. I've paid my rent on like our online portal, which is cool. I'm waiting, but I'm like anxious because I really just really want to see the unit to make sure like it's all good to go. I'm also about to take in detail like video to make sure that everything is like good, all pictures, make sure everything is straight. Brianna's over here. Make there she is. <laughs> Let it <laughs> That's what you get, doing too much. But um I thought that was your toe hanging out of your croc. But it's like a little. <sighs> but I've. What was I saying? I don't remember what I'm saying. I just want to see the apartment to make sure that it looks exactly like the one that I had, because like the one that I toured is not the unit that I'm moving into. It's like identical supposedly. So I just want to make sure everything's like good. To go. I kind of want to ask like tenants here, like, how is it here? Like, do you guys love it here? But you know what the Lord told me? The Lord is trying to put my mind and my heart at ease. So you know, just. <laughs> I know it's so funny. <laughs> All right, so this is us after our first round of bringing things in. It's okay. I'm I'm sweating though. Dripping. It's a little bit sweaty. Show them the picture. Y'all. So Miss Miss Riri here. She was like, you know, trying to get the U-Haul out of the parking lot, and she happened to make connection with the curb, and I cried real tears. <laughs> <laughs> no, like look at no, the no, actual no. tears. Sitting on. in my glasses. Um, and there was two men in the corner, and the way we tried to duck and I dodge, just turned the other way. And then, that's the way we laughed. I was like, you're not even looking. I saw them, and I was like, no. And then we pulled the U Haul up around the side of the building to start unloading the stuff, and here they come walking up just the ramp. And I was like, I, was like, I swear I can drive. You know, the curb, I think the curb went out of its way. The curb was in your way. Exactly. So, Too this is. Easy. Yeah, we don't we don't claim delusion, but you know, it's, it's fine. All right. Anyway, so this is us the first round. We've probably got like five more of these to go, maybe even six. Yes. So this is us now. It won't look this this nice in a moment because I'm really hot. Let's take these boxes. 
All right, bye. This is stop number two. It is so hot outside, oh my gosh. Which one was it? My ring finger, like, if he's not for me, did you say that? <laughs> for real. Moving is for the birds. Oh, uh, yeah, this is sweat. This is the skin of a killer, Bella. Beautiful. This is the skin of a killer, Bella. <sighs> <laughs> if you're not shining like a cullen, you're not doing it right. All right, hold on. The hair is officially in the claw clip, but like, it's like not in. So let's fix that real quick. I'm in my potato era. My face is like a potato and I'm going full back. So that's why we don't wear it. But we're washing my hair tonight because Tampa Heat's about to play with me. Okay. <sighs> this is not cute. Okay, all right. Oh, this was stop three, right? Three? three. <laughs> yeah, stop three or four, one of the two. We haven't been updating, but that's because we look like this. Brianna's over it. We just got my mattress and the whole bed up. So now we just have two more things to get off with some clothes and then we are done for this move. There are no words. Wait, one more stop. Look at my hair. It's, my it's giving me a ceiling. Yeah. It's the torture down for me. Yeah. We have, we have one more stop to make downstairs and then we're going to get some meat. Well, we're going to set up my Wi-Fi box and then we're going to get some meat. I don't think I've ever felt this bad before in my life. I know. I'm unwell. <laughs> the Lord has kept us through this process, but hanging on. Bad thread. And the thread. The thread. Soon because oh, I was going to say, but at least it's a thread at the end of his garment. I'm a thick. Oh, okay. How you feeling? I'm unwell. <laughs> so it's basically backlit, but um, I'm about to set up my Wi-Fi really quick. So the Fios router and the extender. Let's do the router first, okay? Because we definitely I need Wi-Fi. 100% need Wi-Fi. I probably potentially will. What's the difference between, like, I don't know, are they two separate things? I have an extender and a, a router. Ooh, I saw it too fast. Cool. This is the extender. <laughs> We're starving. This tea is so good. I look crazy. You feel great? Feel good? I feel better. I'm not gonna pass out here. I know. I I told you I stood up earlier and I really felt myself get dizzy. I said, ooh, yeah. I still have to drive back here tonight. So there's that. Anyway, so we got some chicken nuggets and I'm like trying to prepare myself to take this trip back. I never want to move again, okay? The next time I do it, everybody just remind me to hire movers. Okay? Gosh, well, I'll be the first one. You're a real one though. Chicken nuggets are a delicacy. Chicken fingers and french fries are a delicacy. Anytime I travel, like when I've gone like, when I went to the Virgin Islands, I literally was like, give me like the, your most famous dish. I will try anything, but there's just something about chicken fingers and french fries that I just love. It's good, I can't really mess them up. If you mess them up, jail. It's the next day. It's very echoey in here because I don't have a lot of furniture. But basically, I have unpacked my kitchen and my bedroom. You guys are gonna get an empty apartment tour after this video, so stay tuned for that. And then um, my next big thing to tackle is getting furniture, because I don't have any um, in the living room and dining room area. I'm running to Target really quick. I placed the mobile order so I can grab a mop and a broom and a new trash can. And then I'm gonna come back and wash my hair, blow out my hair so that I can get ready for my flight that leaves so early like i have to leave my house at 3 45 a.m yeah you know i just thought it would be a little bit easier but it's definitely not so i slept in until like eight o'clock today that's how you know i'm tired because usually i will wake up 
at like five o'clock in the morning. And I vaguely remember waking up at five, but I was like, mm -mm, no, and I didn't even set an alarm. So I woke up and it was like eight o'clock, got out of my bed at 8.30 and I was productive. I did unpack the entire kitchen, cleaned down everything. Everything is away. I don't have groceries yet. So I had a smoothie today and then I just, uh, heated up some frozen fried rice from Trader Joe's. And then that was basically it. So now, um, like I said, I'm gonna head to Target. I'm also probably gonna get a coffee or something while I'm out. I'm not really that hungry since I just had the, um, the fried rice a couple of hours ago. But maybe I might pick something up because I know I'll probably be hungry later, but we are moved and I also got my Wi-Fi to work last night at like 11 o'clock at night. Shout out to my cousin Bree who FaceTimed me and was like, I actually have the same router. So um, let me help you. Before I leave, I have to break down those boxes there and then take down that trash, find the trash chute. And then I have a bunch of boxes on that side over there. I don't know if you see it. I'm gonna take them out to the recycle. So I'm probably gonna take them out to my car because outside of the, um, the garage that I leave from out of, there is like a dumpster there, I think. So I can go ahead and put my recyclables in there. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I just wanted to just come on here and update you guys on the move. I'm officially moved. My best friend, Brianna, is the GOAT. Nobody can tell me anything different. Like she really thugged it out with me and I'm just so blessed and thankful to have had her. So if you're watching this, Bri, I love you. All right, so I got this. Stuff. I don't know why that they would give me a bag, but like literally none of the stuff that I got fits in a bag. But um, yeah, so um, I also stopped the CVS. It sounds so echoey in here, oh my gosh. I stopped the CVS because I needed to get a couple of things. Um, I needed some lashes for my trip for tomorrow. And then I got dinner, which is just this Stover's lasagna with meat sauce. This is my favorite like TV dinner. And then I also got these chocolate covered almonds for this little chocolatey snack. So I got those from uh, CVS and then I picked up my iced coffee because I need that. And then I got a Swiffer Wet Power Mop. A Swiffer Power Mop. It says five times the cleaning powder. Power, oh my gosh, I, I swear I can read. I'm gonna go over my floor with this because it's just very dusty. Like this this unit right here that I'm that I moved into is brand new. Nobody's lived here before me and they just finished the res reservations. They just finished the renovations at the beginning of the week. So like the floors are just a little bit dusty and I mean I will get a mop. I left my old cedar mop at my old place by accident. Whatever, it's cool. I used to have a really nice mop now. But I figured this would just hold me over for the next couple of days so I can get back from Tampa. And then I also got this broom. I actually bought this broom at my other place and I never even opened it. I was supposed to bring it here with me and I forgot it next to the old cedar mop. I was like, what's happening? And then I just got this garbage can and it's just stainless steel, nothing like crazy or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sweeping the floors, mop the floors, and then I gotta get in the shower, wash my hair because I'm really kind of pushing it. It's like, 6.22 right now. So the goal is to be done with like sweeping and mopping by like seven. And then we're gonna, well, I'm gonna like get in the shower, blow out my hair and stuff. And then we can chit chat before I go to bed because I'm really only gonna get like three hours of sleep tonight. And that's okay, because that's what my life has been lately. So it's cool. washed and blow dried the skin is glowing from the skincare and your girl is about to go to bed but before i close out this video i just had to come on here and just share with you how good god really is and i know that there are times when you feel like your prayers are falling on deaf ears me being able to get this apartment was nothing of my own doing it was all god i just had to come on here and just give all glory and honor to him because you just don't really know how god is moving and like what he will put in your path like you can say you have a five-year plan because i thought i had this whole five-year plan all set out i actually had a 10-year plan and <laughs> the lord was like ha 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 jokes on you i need 
and take you through some things so that I can develop some things in you. That way when you get to where I need you to be, you will really be able to appreciate it. And um, I would just say this here, when I lived in Philadelphia, I lived in an unideal living situation my first year. It was a very interesting time. And then I moved into the previous place that I was just in and I had a wonderful experience there with the exception of a few things. But now I'm here in this apartment, in this new state, like I've moved farther away from home and I don't feel isolated. I feel like this is a new start. This is a new journey. And I'm very excited to see where it goes. I know we look crazy right now, but God is just so good. God is just really good. And you know what? I just want to say this. God's love is so, my mind cannot physically comprehend it because I haven't always been the best daughter to God. I fell, I slacked, I tried to do things my own way, I tried not to be patient. I focused on other things and other people when I should have focused on God. When he should have walked away from me, he didn't. And that is that is what is important here because your walk with Christ is not linear. In fact, mine is probably a maze. I have great intentions and I don't know, God is doing a new thing and this is just phase one of his plan and I had to start going back and watching these so I can encourage myself because y'all already know I don't go back and watch my videos but sometimes I really feel like he places it on my heart to share things not just for you but for myself too if I can get past like the cringe portion of re-watching myself and listening to myself after like I've completely edited like the video because yeah I just in my mind I don't sound like this but I'm, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that you guys had to endure it. But yeah, like God is just really, really good. And I wanted to just share that in all of this, I found myself stressed out because like I didn't know, I knew everything was going to work out, but like just the logistics of everything, like me trying to be a perfectionist, me trying to make sure that everything is like orchestrated and organized and planned well. But God has really been challenging me to trust him, just trust him. Even when you don't feel like it, there's something about worshiping, because you guys know I'm a worshiper, right? But there's something about worshiping during the times when you feel bad, when you don't feel like worshiping. <laughs> like that's hard, that is a hard, hard task. But I have found that worship is my weapon. In all of this, like there have been moments where I just like kind of just wanted to just like stop. I'm like, you know, I'm done, I'm overwhelmed, I'm tired. I just, I can't anymore. Like I just can't anymore. I'm burnt out and I'm frustrated because I feel like I should be here and I should have this and I should be doing this. And God is like, Rana, just sit with me. And in that sitting with God, just worshiping him, thanking him for everything that he's already done for me, everything that he's doing, even though I don't see it. It's just, this is like a whole tangent, but like, I just want y'all to know, if y'all learn nothing else, God is good. Even when it doesn't feel good, he is good. Even when you feel like your prayers are not being answered, he is good. When he's taking his time, because this is the one that began in me, he is good. And what we pray for, those things are big. They take time. God wants us to have the best of the best. So if we've got to wait months, dare I say years, mm -hmm. yeah, Lord please don't make me wait years but if if he makes us wait that long it's because it's gonna be great i'm just trying not to be in a rush and just enjoy the now because this is definitely an answered prayer that i can now take off of my prayer board that i made at the beginning of the year there are multiple prayers that he has answered that i can remove from my prayer board and i just i'm literally living in this answered prayer but yeah Anyway, I don't really know how much this I'm going to include in this video because I was just talking. But yeah, I'm getting ready to go to bed because it is almost 1030 and I have a flight to catch. Well, I have to leave my house at 345 a.m., mm -mm, which means I got to be up at like 2. Mm, not it. So yeah, I'm going to go to bed and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also, be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time I drop a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next.